The Chernobyl zone is famous as a sanctuary of all kinds of rare living creatures, and here, in its forests and around, is possible to meet the biggest European insect, a stag beetle. While elsewhere these insects are in the risk, here, at the radioactive lands of Chernobyl, they live pretty happily, because the disaster of 1986 made a paradoxal effect. The reduction of human activities created a complex nature of environment which is rich for fallen and rotten trees. And these are crucial for development of the stuck beetle larvae. The wildness is of course better visible on winter shots when view is not obscured. They put their eggs in a rotten oak wood, so the best for them are mixed forests which are present here in variety. And the larva develop from 4 to 6 years, finally turning to an adult insect around May. Since then, they fly and look for mating up to the end of August. And the stag beetles normally do not eat, but they love to consume the fermented juices of oak and sometimes also birch trees that drips from the damaged surface. In the case of the Chernobyl zone, the wood sometimes contains a severe amount of radionuclides that tree consumes from the soil, so likely that at the larva stage stag beetles also get a certain amount of nuclides to their bodies, although some chronic internal exposure or probably caused by this doesn't look to affect them really in any way. But this were a beetle, however, we spotted in just few steps away from the zone, so their Chernobyl population is slowly expanding elsewhere outside. The size of the male beetles is pretty impressive, because it may reach up to 7 cm. And their notable feature are their giant mandibles that take near a quarter of their size. Although they look scary, that's a weapon more of a psychological kind. Because if the beetle is agitated, it will stand in a battle position raising this massive head, spreading mandibles to look more aggressive. And in reality, they are sufficient to penetrate human skin just a little, which I once experienced. It. Contrary to males, female stag beetles are smaller and normally darker. They also have smaller mandibles, but they are way stronger, so their bite may be more remarkable. Comparing to other beetles, the stag beetles have a large developed head and a large facet eyes placed pretty far from each other. And they also have three simple sensor-like eyes in the middle that react on light. The legs of the stag beetles are ending with the grappling hook-like paws, which, together with a severe muscle power, makes them hold really well on the surface. And needless to say uh, that when a couple of times these creatures went on me when I was in Chernobyl, I even needed to ask for other person's assistance, because it is not so easy to take them off on your own. Stuck beetles also have pretty powerful wings, and they fly on a height up to 10 meters. But due to their body structure, they stay in the air almost vertically. Actually, we were lucky to see this very guy to take off, so we wished him a good flight. Let us know in the comments if you would like to have more videos about amazing Chernobyl wildlife in the future. And in the meanwhile, check our Patreon page for the insider's view to Chernobyl Zone and subscribe to this channel. See you next time!